what about um, noises? Noises. Like a, the backup alarm on a truck. Does that bother you? It can. Actually, the biggest noise problem I have is when it's supposed to be quiet. Like if you're in for a test, you're supposed to be doing the test. People coughing, dropping their pencils, that would drive me nuts. Um, actually, what drives me nut nutty kind of right now is when I have all four of my kids and they can't give me just one second because I'm very slow at understanding what they're asking or comprehending. Your ability to comprehend and, and have a conversation has a lot to do with how little else is going on at the time. Yes. Now you're having no problem with our conversation. No, because it's just you and me. And there's no background noise in this room that no. bothers you. Until I mentioned it, you probably didn't even think about the background noise. No, I mean, to be honest with you, I didn't think about it, but now that you bring it up, since it's quiet and I can hear you, um, it's, for me, it's fine. Your problems with um, keeping up in conversation has a lot to do with how many different sensory inputs are going on at once. Mm -hmm. Is that true? That's true. Um, actually, from my accident, see if I can remember what year, because my dad didn't tell me this when I talked to him last night. I believe it was this year. I did something to my eardrum, so I have very bad hearing out of it this year. So I use my right ear to, I rely on my right ear a lot. So for you to hear our conversation in this room isn't a problem because we're the only thing going on in this room. But otherwise, if I would be to your right side, it would be easier for you to follow. Mm -hmm. 